Hey, I don't mean to be Dwayne Downer here amongst all this comedy talent, but I have to comment on a critically developing news item. As many of you know, the 16th largest financial institution burst this week. Of course, I'm talking about Silicon Bank. Now, I'm no financial expert. All of my money's tied up in cash. But I've researched what happened to those who still think cryptocurrency is how you pay for your funeral expenses. Apparently, thousands of customers have been injecting their deposits into Silicon Bank, only to have them manhandled inappropriately, something Amber has had to deal with her entire life. I have this on Betamax, but I digress. It appears that someone in the Titterverse leaked this information, then it appeared on Instamammogram, then suddenly there was a run on Silicon Bank. And you know how runny Silicon can be. For years, the entire Silicon economy was supporting the faces, breasts, hips, and butts of the famous and not so famous. Kim Kardashian's buttocks alone was holding up much of coastal California from sliding into the ocean. Who knew? Not any of the white guys I know. In hindsight, if I may use that word, this was a ticking time bomb inside a Rubik's Cube inside a Jack in the Box. The toy, not the restaurant. And don't order the Oreo shake. It's 1,100 calories without the defibrillator. Commonly called filler, Michael Jackson came within a nose of nearly titling his famous album this very word. As everyone knows, Silicon Valley is located between two enormous hills that come alive with the sound of music, especially disco music. The explosion of Silicon Bank would be the Chernobyl of breast augmentation and vice versa. Suddenly, the world was flat, just as Marjorie Taylor Greene had predicted in her ghost-written memoir, I'm Not Crazy, It's Me, now available on Inaudible. Shockingly, billions of dollars of silicone was withdrawn from Silicon Bank in a matter of hours. Some people using industrial breast pumps, toilet plungers, or anything that sucked more than the film Shotgun Wedding. It was then discovered that the officers of Silicon Bank absconded with huge bonuses before the Fed skidded into the scene. This is called bottom feeding or skimming from the topless. Thankfully, the Biden administration stopped the leak by sliding in truckloads of Flex Seal sealant and Dolly Parton's training bra. It would be the greatest disaster since the Exxon Valdez transitioned into Exotica Valdez and started accepting Bitcoin tips for her naughty bits. Unsurprisingly, we have since learned that Donald Trump, a man who's been manipulating silicone since puberty, was behind the very deregulation of silicone and Vladimir Putin's ego. Next week, I'll update you on the problems I've had with Siemens Bank and why I can no longer have children who will work for me for free.